हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू अ लेक्चर ऑन रीसेटलमेंट एंड रिहेबिलिटेशन ऑफ पीपल इन टूडेज डेलिब्रेशन और मेन फोकस शेल बी रीसेटलमेंट एंड रिहेबिलिटेशन ऑफ पीपल इट्स प्रॉब्लम्स एंड कंसर्न्स सो टू बिगिन विद लेट स्टार्ट विद जनरल ओवरव्यू इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट रेजेस द क्वालिटी एंड स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग फॉर द पीपल ऑफ अ कंट्री developmental projects are planned to bring benefits to the society however in the process of development very often there is over exploitation of natural resources and degradation of the environment besides this quite often the native people of the project site are directly affected these native people are generally the poorest of the poor under privileged tribal people millions of people are being displaced from their native places annually movement of people can either be forced or voluntary studies show that the majority of displaced people belong to poor and marginalized communities and within them women and children experience special vulnerabilities displacement or the involuntary and forced relocation of people has come to be acknowledged as among the most significant negative impacts of large development projects such as dams in india alone it's estimated that some 21 million to 42 million people have been displaced by dams and reservoirs In order to overcome the negative impact of displacement the ousters are resettled and rehabilitated resettlement is the movement of large group of people from one region to another often a form of forced migration imposed by state policy or international authority and most frequently on the basis of ethnicity or religion often the affected population is transferred by force to a distant region perhaps not suited to their way of life causing them substantial harm in addition the loss of all immovable property and when rushed the loss of substantial amounts of movable property is implied resettlement is a process with a start and a finish and as a discrete area of work separate from generalist hostel work from counseling key working from outreach and from long term tenancy support work it does link in with these areas of work but needs to be understood as separate from them rehabilitation is a program that helps a person who is recovering from illness or injury to regain as much function as possible it is the process by which a changed entity is restored to its original position the aim is for clients to become as independent as possible despite their disabilities rehabilitation also aims to teach strategies for ongoing disabilities and the objectives of rehabilitation should be the people displaced should get an appropriate share in the fruits of development creating new settlements with their own environment should rehabilitate them removal of property should also be an objective of the rehabilitation policy and therefore some land to all ousties even the landless should be given assurance of employment tribal should develop along the lines of their own genius and we should avoid imposing anything on them we should try to encourage their own traditional arts and culture in every way resettlement should be in the neighborhood of their own environment in partly affected village villagers should be given the option of shifting out with others with the same compensation as available to evacuees training facilities should be set up to upgrade the skills of affected people and reservation in jobs should be made for the willing adults among the evacuees special attention should be given to the rehabilitation of artisans and village craft people 
villagers should be taken into confidence at every stage or implementation and they should be educated through open meeting and discussions about the legalities of the land acquisition act and other rehabilitation provisions the aid of voluntary agencies in planning and implementation program now students let's discuss about problems and concerns of resettlement resettlement programs have predominantly focused on the process of physical relocation rather than on the economic and social development of the displaced and other negatively affected people this has severely eroded the development effectiveness of resettlement and rehabilitation programs and heightened the impoverishment risk of the resettlers the key economic risks to affected people are from the loss of livelihood and income sources such as arable land common property resources such as forests grazing land ground and surface water fisheries etc and changed access to and control of productive resources the loss of economic power with the breakdown of complex livelihood systems results in temporary or permanent often irreversible decline in living standards leading to marginalization higher risks and uncertainties are introduced when diversified livelihood sources are lost loss of livelihood and disruption of agricultural activity can adversely affect household food security leading to undernourishment higher incidence of disease associated with deteriorating water quality can result in increased morbidity and mortality in many cases the focus of resettlement programs is simply to get people to move out of the way to the resettlement sites as quickly and smoothly as possible once people are relocated or even shifted out the resettlement program usually fizzles out or loses momentum the resettled people are most vulnerable to be forgotten once the physical relocation is complete a waning of interest sometimes referred to as developers fatigue resettlement in the absence of active development initiatives is thus likely to become impoverishment the opposite of what it is intended to be resettlement of displaced people is thus a process that is acknowledged as entailing several risks these risks render resettlement inherently problematic and indeed impoverishment and this empowerment have been the rule then the exception with respect to resettled people around the world simply restoring the status quo in terms of material assets will thus leave people worse off than before therefore the main objective of a resettlement program must be to improve the standard of living and not just restoration of pre relocation standards of living while the restoration of pre relocation standards is still echoed in several resettlement programs there is enough evidence to indicate that this goal is limited and inadequate now students let's discuss about problems and concerns of rehabilitation rehabilitation can be envisioned as a process that would reverse the risk of resettlement landlessness to land based resettlement joblessness to reemployment food insecurity to safe nutrition homelessness to house reconstruction increased morbidity and mortality to improved health and well being social disarticulation and deprivation of common property resources to community reconstruction and social inclusion involuntary displacement of human population is always traumatic irrespective of the causes leading to such migrations the degree of suffering experienced by such people simply cannot be quantified 
in money values and even in words it can be described only inadequately but unfortunately ousting of people likely to be submerged under irrigation or hydal power dams is a classic case where hardships are imposed on people in spite of the pro people laws and policies proclaimed by the government the major issues related to displacement and rehabilitation are tribals are usually the most affected among us the displaced who are already poor displacement further increases their poverty due to loss of land home jobs food insecurity loss of access to common property assets increased morbidity and mortality and social isolation break up of families is an important social issue arising due to displacement in which the women are the worst affected and they are not even given cash or land compensation the tribals are not familiar with the market policies and trends even if they get cash compensation they get alienated in the modern economic setup the land acquisition laws ignore the communal ownership of property which is an inbuilt system among the tribals thus the tribals lose their communitarian basis of economic and cultural existence they feel like fish out of water kinship systems marriages social and cultural functions their folk songs dances and activities vanish with their displacement even when they are resettled it is individual based resettlement which totally ignores communal settlement loss of identity and loss of the intimate link between the people and the environment is of the biggest loss the age long indigenous knowledge which has been inherited and experienced by them about the flora fauna their uses etc gets lost rehabilitation is the only possible where development takes place thus resettlement must be planned as an integral part of the comprehensive development project in this sense rehabilitation is really an outcome of resettlement that is conceived not as physical relocation or mere restoration of incomes but as development this brings us to the question of development in the context of resettlement and rehabilitation one useful way of understanding development in the context of resettlement and rehabilitation of negatively affected people is in terms of the real freedoms that the citizens enjoy to pursue the objectives they have reason to value and in this sense the expansion of human capability and be broadly seen as the central feature of the process of development a resettlement program in order to qualify as development must therefore center around enhancement of capabilities and the expansion of social opportunities by addressing the social and personal constraints that restrict people's choices this would mean that resettlement with development entails questions of resources and rights that would affect the quality of life of the people the success of developmental programs cannot be judged merely in terms of their effects on incomes and outputs and must at a basic level focus on the lives that people can lead this would mean tangible benefits like lower morbidity and mortality and increasing level of education increasing incomes through opportunities for employment and livelihood and empowering the displaced people through building capacities by their participation in the entire decision making processes of the development project and resettlement That's all we have for you in today's lecture. Thank you for